1948, by running a simple TV cable, Service Electric launched an entire industry. In the 56 years since, we've reached many milestones, like giving your life clarity and definition, connecting you to the world faster, and letting your voice be heard while never forgetting what got us here. Service Electric Cable and Communications, a clear vision for the future. Welcome to Lehigh Valley Sports Scene. Well, if you own a dog and are looking for something fun to do, agility may be the answer. Not for you, the owner, of course, but when Sports Fest hits the Lehigh Valley next month, dog agility will be one of the sports featured at the event. If you haven't seen it before, now's your chance to take it all in as Leah Kosi brings us a preview from members of the Bouncing Bowser's Dog Agility Club. As Sports Fest celebrates their 10th anniversary this year, the Bouncing Bowser's Dog Agility Club will be celebrating their ninth year being a part of it as hundreds compete and show spectators what agility is all about at Cedar Beach next month. Dog agility is a dog sport in where a dog and a handler compete. Usually the course is somewhat between anywhere from 15 to 20 obstacles and the dog and the handler have to compete as a team. Initiating from equestrian competition, any dog, purebred or mixed, can do agility. It just takes dedication from both the handler and the dog. It's just really fun and like my dog enjoys it. He really loves doing it. So, you know, it makes him happy and it's nice to have him happy. And, you know, it's just something to do that's really fun and it's a competition too, which makes it even better. While some of these dogs are fairly new to the sport, one is a veteran. The spunky Pomeranian named Cody has been competing for more than seven years now, holding 38 titles with 12 more pending. He has also made a number of television appearances. Cody has always loved Sports Fest. He's been competing in that since the year 2000 and traditionally placed fairly well this year. He's going in as a veteran that's for older dogs. <laughs> Cody loves the activity and I think he just enjoys a lot of running. He's always been this energetic and for him it's just fun. While it may look easy, it does take a lot of work. And even if you have a dog that excels at agility, anything can happen during competition. If it's wet, the dog can slip on the obstacles. Um, there's the chute got tangled when he was going through it. Any number of things can happen. The handler can fall and go down, which I've done quite a number of times. So you never know quite what to expect and you never entirely know what your partner is thinking. Willow uh, does her own thing. Willow does agility because I want to do agility. She does it to please me. But being a bird dog, if she catches a scent, she'd rather be out there looking for treats or sniffing to see where the rabbits were. So you never know what she's going to do. <laughs> I think all dogs love agility. I've, I uh, have very rarely seen any dogs that don't like dog agility. But there's certain breeds that tend to sometimes excel at it, like sometimes your Border Collies and some of your herding breeds. But I've seen dogs that are some rare breeds that you would not think do well in agility, and they do wonderful. So I don't think there's any particular breed. I just think it's how much determination the handler has and the dog has. If the dog loves it, there's no stopping them. If you'd like to know more about dog agility, you and your dog can take part in one of two workshops that will be held at Sports Fest Saturday, July 8th at Cedar Beach. The fee is $5 and experience is not required. In Germansville, Leah Cosi, 2 Sports.